Hey, welcome. So today I want to do a little bit of a stretch for around five minutes. We're doing a lot of workouts, so let's get started. We're going to go into cat and cow. It looks like a simple movement, but this movement can create a lot of ease in the back and grace. So we're going to start in a neutral spine, zip that belly button up, pull those ribs in, nice straight back. Then we're going to come into your cow, pulling forward. As you pull forward, pull your chest through your arms, head drives up, and your head drives back towards your tailbone, your tailbone drives up towards your head. Inhale. Then you're going to zip your ribs up, zip your belly button up, pull your pelvis forward as you pull your head towards your pelvis. Exhale. Looking at your belly button here, pushing your shoulder blades apart. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly, slowly bring your sit bones back down to your heels. From here, we're going to move it into the thoracic. So same thing, going to exhale, round the spine, looking at the pelvis bone or belly button. Inhale, pull your chest through. So we're moving up the spine a little bit just to target the thoracic. The thoracic can cause a lot of stiffness in the spine, so we just want to work that and isolate it. And inhale. You should be able to feel your core working as you do this, okay? From here, we're going to slowly rise up into a forward fold. So you're going to bring one leg forward, other leg forward, and just hang here. Inhaling and exhaling. Now, the legs can be bent as long as the sit bones are high. So really think about elongating the sit bones more than straightening the legs. And you're lengthening the spine down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. I'm creating space. Exhaling. I'm going deeper. You can also use the hands here or on the locks. Beautiful. From here, we're going to slowly step one foot forward and one foot back. Sliding that foot back into our lizard lunge. Now we can rock here back and forward. We can straighten and release the leg. That's going to give a little bit of your flexibility. Or we can just drop down, squeeze the glute and hold here. Or sink a little deeper. And rock back and forward. Now, if your lizard lunge doesn't look like mine, that's beautiful because there's a lot of lizards in this world. So you can come up here, you can be up here. The main thing is to think about tucking your pelvis a little bit to feel into that hip flexor. Don't just dump into the lower back. From here, we're going to do one mountain climber to swap sides. And we're going to sink down into our hip flexor lizard lunge stretch. There's a lot of alternatives to here. You can grab your back foot. So feel out what you need to do here in your practice. Inhaling, lengthening the spine always and pulling your chest through. Think about a length and you're crawling forward as opposed to rounding. So if you need to come up taller, as I said, come up taller. There is no right or wrong. Slowly bring yourself forward into a squat. Roll onto your back. And we're going to go into a spinal twist. So from here, you're going to bring one foot either over and twist, look in the opposite direction. You may bring one leg straight, and then from there, twisting over. Really up to you, or you may bring both legs over. So find which one you want. There's so many alternatives. Inhale here, exhale. You could do a little point and flex and circle with your ankle. Inhale and exhale. Slowly bring yourself back to centre. Swap legs, whatever kind of movement you're doing. Inhale and exhale. I like to think of an inhale for five. 
and exhale for 10. The reason I do this is it works on the vagus nerve and relaxation leading to the parasympathetic nervous system, rest and digest. Slowly coming up, folding your legs in, and rolling to one side, so you can slowly bring yourself into child's pose. And you're just gonna sit here and breathe for a few minutes and you have done your stretch. Beautiful work guys, thanks for joining me and have a great day, namaste.